Welcome back to the. Oh, we're back to the. Oh, we're back to the. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. I can't keep up with this. Flacio type beat. Welcome back to the. like a little ducky. Yeah. You know what? Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. How about that? A little ducky going for that. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Our Mr. Dallas boy not here today. He's fishing with Peepaw. He had an emergency fishing trip. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> yeah, Son, like we have to hour. fish now. <laughs> Son, now, an fish, hour go. Before, he just said, nah, I ain't making it. I'm going fishing. Yeah. Dallas, we need to fish. <laughs> He'll I think be your his dad. It's because his, his, he has dad. He probably doesn't fish with his dad a lot, so he's like, you know, on daddy fish time trip, I will be taking it. I think, I think yeah. he mainly just wanted to go fishing, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, he probably yeah. fishes with dad all the time, but... Yeah. Fishing is life. He usually, uh, fishing. usually when he fishes, it's like four in the morning or something. Yeah, he always goes like really early. But I think isn't that like lore for fishing? Like, aren't you supposed yeah. to do that? Is that when the fish are hungry? Yeah, early Dick catches the tit or some shit. Yeah, some shit like that. Plus, he like, you know, it's probably <laughs> freezing his balls in the morning there. Yeah. I mean, it's cold right now. There, I think it's like fifty and windy there right now. That's about what it is here. I think it's forty. Really? It's Damn. been like below fifty for a few days now. Yeah, well, it is uh, minus two here, so take that. It's minus two Celsius? I wonder what here. that is in Fahrenheit. Because minus two Fahrenheit like is like not that bad, to be honest. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh. That's like summer by Canadian standards, but I wonder what minus two... You know we have two... the same weather, do, right? That doesn't make sense geographically. How would well, we have we the do. same That's weather? A... This is how it works. Even though it's like the same temperature today as it is there. I don't Every other it. day, too. Yeah. This is lower. Does it snow where you live? Yeah. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we get a good amount. Winter go hard, summer go hard. I've never dealt with snow. I feel like all of like, <laughs> from like where Dew is to where I am, we get like the both both of the extremes. The spent yeah. ass. Yeah, you get like 100 degree Fahrenheit summers and then like minus 40 winters. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I'm that. lying. It's not a good time. It snows in the mountains here. Like we, because like, Rough. you know, California has like the Rocky Mountains. So you can go up there, yeah. like if you, you want to. The Rockies up there? I didn't know that. Yeah. Like if you want to go, the Rockies ran through California. If you want to go hang out at the snow for a day, you just take a couple hours and drive it to the mountains. Snowboarding sounds so fucking cool. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, there are spots in uh, I think L.A. where they have like in really? the middle of summer you can you can snowboard. Oh, do they have like that like fake snow stuff? No, it's real. It's just artificial. Interesting. That's gonna. Be cool. It's real. It's just artificial. Sorry. Yeah. So it's say like, that shit again. I meant that it's not like it's natural. actual snow, but it's artificially made. Yeah. What, it's, it's like imported or okay. some shit. Imported. Why you, they drive trucks from northern Canada instead of just <laughs> making snow? <Yeah. laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah. It didn't fall. It's not cloud piss in 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 crystallized form. They yeah. made it. They have like a machine yeah, yeah. that blows a bunch of fucking snow everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I've gone snowboarding here, like up north a little bit. Um, it's super fucking fun, but it's also scary. Like, mm -hmm. uh, everyone I was with was, like, intermediate-ish. Um, maybe slightly better than intermediate, like, because everything's ranked on the hills. So they were like, yeah, don't be a bitch, just come do the intermediate hills with me. And it's like, it's cool, but, like, if you don't know how to maintain your speed well, it becomes very scary very fast. Like, yeah. you have to obviously carve to keep your speed, but, like... Yeah. Sometimes you start going too fast and you get like the equivalent of like speed wobbles on a motorcycle and then you just you kind of forever like, down the hill. Just, yeah. Eat shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you kind of just die. And it's a good time because usually you fall into like nice fluffy snow. Unless you're near the bottom of the hill, then it's usually all compacted and stuff and you fall and it's like falling on concrete. Doesn't feel good. It's Hell like icy yeah. snow that's been like run over a million times. And, like because the friction of snowboards like heats up the snow, it turns to water and then freezes, turns to ice. So you like basically just smash into ice at the bottom of the hill. It's a good time. I feel like with my size, I would probably just instantly go like a hundred miles an hour, which would be zooming down the hill. Should become a terminal velocity. Yeah. yeah, instantly. <laughs> <laughs> just have you flames behind me. Have you guys ever watched that Olympic sport where they're on skis and they just kind of wobble around and shoot bows and arrows? Yeah. I thought it was guns. They do bow and arrows too. Do they shoot guns too? I, 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 I see them doing guns. archery. I, Okay, interesting. Yeah, I've always seen like the ones where they like they like skate around and then like shoot and then go and get like they you know they just be shooting shit. There's a whole yeah. family episode about that where like Meg is a yeah Meg does that and he goes like North Korea or something. I remember yeah. seeing that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's an actual sport. 
the fuck do you come up with that as an Olympic sport? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, it's it's I feel like it's just like Cold War simulator the sport, right. like not Cold War because cold, Cold War because like Russia, you know, right? Got snow there. Yeah, I don't know. Do when you were like actually, I guess growing up. Did you have any hills or anything that you'd go to during the winter, like on really snowy days, and people oh, just be doing like the most fuck shit on it possible? Fuck yes, dude. There was this one particular park that's in and around my house with this giant ass in hill house. <laughs> in and around my house. <laughs> <laughs> A whole ass park right, in my there, house. That's I grew cool. up very wealthy. Uh, <laughs> no, but um, yeah, we would just take like anything we could find, like big slabs of cardboard and shit and just slide down it. It was the best, yeah. man. The entertainment you could get as a kid, man. So easily entertained. I mean, I'd do yeah. that fucking now, honestly, but... I don't know. I've seen too much shit happen. There's this big-ass hill, uh, and it's actually, like, I didn't know what it was growing up, but I, I, I found out later that it used to be a garbage dump that they just, like, simply put grass over and oh, called nice. it, like, a hill. And now it's, like, a big park and people go there and stuff, but every time there was, like, a snow day where, like, the buses were canceled and school was canceled and everyone just, like... It was a ton of snow. Everyone would just go there. Nobody would even, like, call each other's house to, like, ask if we're going. Everyone would just meet there. You just knew it was up, yeah. And we'd salvage anything we could. Like, some kids would walk there, so they wouldn't want to drag a sled. They'd bring, like, big-ass, like, hefty bags, and they'd <laughs> punch arm holes and leg holes and just put it over them and slide down on their and belly. just penguin the shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. One, kid, one kid did that, and <laughs> there was, like, this little lip on the side. And you're not supposed to really hit the lip because, like, You'll actually get airborne, and that's kind of scary. Yeah. But he hit it, and he didn't. He committed to being a penguin, and he just stayed like this. And when he <laughs> landed, he cracked two of his ribs. Oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. They didn't like break or anything, but it was like two cracks, like two fractures. Fuck. And uh, yeah, that was bad. And then uh, there was one kid that I don't know why he thought it would be a good idea to do this, but. There's like a hill, there's there's a big hill on the left and a small hill on the right, or like whatever, vice versa. But in the middle, there's like a walking path you go up, but it's also really steep. So some kid thought it'd be a good idea to go down that hill. And me and like three other guys were walking and this dude went down the middle hill that everyone's walking up and he tanked my friend and my friend went Whoa. face first into the dude and his front tooth went right in the guy's forehead, like right here. Damn. And there's literally like a perfect tooth imprint of like, like it was in it was in the skin and then you saw like a bruise of the rest of his teeth around it was so fucking gross we get had to go to the Damn. hospital and get, like stitches and yeah like uh, antibiotics and shit and yeah it was it was it was wild but yeah that hill was like dangerous i'm surprised Fuck nobody it. died there worth <laughs> it was a good though, time man. worth yeah it. also there's a parking lot at the end so if you kind of had too much momentum like if you went down with like five people on one sled and had too much weight <laughs> you're going right in the parking lot <laughs> Like it's it was wild. It was a good time. Yeah, I never injured myself doing it. I don't. I, I, no, I think I your, your, your your hill sounded uh, a bit more treacherous than mine. There's I think no it was just that like uh, kids were just stupider. Where, yeah, where yeah. We were at. Like it's just I think it was like a complete because I went down a million times. I never got hurt, but I'd sit on a sled and I'd hang on, and then maybe I'd bail and fall off on the side and go ouchy a little bit, and you know have a little bruised knee or something. I never like decided to go slide down the walking path or anything crazy or commit to being penguin even though you're airborne yeah no he was airborne he committed to it he gotta respect cool. him for that though he looked no cool he didn't it. he looked like an idiot <laughs> <laughs> you know why i feel like kids were more like apt to do shit like that back then is because back mm. then jackass was such a big thing and everybody Honestly, wanted to do yeah, jackass probably like Fair i enough. the reason I, I ever had the balls to do anything that was like slightly dangerous is because i would just be like Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and there's a jackass, and then I'd do, like, a scooter flip on the grass or yeah. something. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> even, like, but even like after jackass, like, the early <clears throat> YouTube days, like, yeah. I feel like all the videos that were on YouTube before YouTube became YouTube is, like, literally people falling off roofs and shit. So you're like, oh, they're fine. I can yeah. do that. And yeah. then you'd, like, try something insane. Like, I remember sitting in my friend's front lawn, and we watched, like, YouTube wrestling highlights or some shit. <laughs> and there's one move, I forget what it is, but the guy grabs him, flips him up to, upside down like they're about to 69, but then just drills his head oh, into the yeah. ground. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And, Damn. And I used to be I a like, huge like, WWF that. fan. Yeah, we watched that and we're like, dude, that looks sick. So we went on the front lawn and I just dropped him on his head like 40 times. Like the fact that that kid didn't die, like I didn't snap his neck. Like <laughs> kids were just built forty different. times. God damn, dude. We no, we were like practicing it, and he was like so down. We were just practicing it over and over, and we were, I was just dropping him on his fucking head, just like spiraling him into the earth. 
and yeah, he was he was game. He was about it. We were like practicing, trying to make sure we looked sick. And I wonder stuff. what they like, would yeah, do. Dude, we're gonna be wrestlers. What they would do in the wrestling, like to prevent them getting hurt doing that move, because I know like the floor was like <sighs> it has some well, give I'm, to I'm it. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure like when you actually flip them over and you drop down on your knees, you hold them above where your knees hit. So it just looks like they smack them, uh, but it never actually true. makes like or if it does make contact, it's like a little boop and not, you know, like smashing Full your on head straight into, yeah, weight straight into like a hard a hard lawn in the spring that still has a little bit of permafrost in it. <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> like March thirtieth, I'm dunking this guy's head into the grass <laughs> where it's still frozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kids just built fucking different back then. Also, when you're a kid, like you're made of fucking magic. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, you'd literally see a kid break his ankle at school and then be back two days later with no cast. He's like, yeah, I just healed. Like, what's up? You know what the yeah. funniest thing, like, too, is, like, everybody knew a kid where, like, he could literally get his fucking arm chopped off and be like, ah, yeah, it's funny. Oh, yeah, and he'd walk it off. Yeah. yeah. But then if, like, somebody calls him, like, a loser, he cries. like, <laughs> Or he gets, like, a boo-boo on his finger and he's like, hey, bummy, you bummy. And then you have to like, <laughs> then you have to suplex yeah. him into the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have killed a man. <laughs> oh, I absolutely could have paralyzed that kid the rest of his life. Yeah. Although, like, he was a piece of shit uh, later in life. So, it all, you okay. know, what, maybe it was karma. Oh, so it was deserved. He probably damaged yeah. his fucking brain, so he became a piece of shit. He was probably a really great no, guy. No, I don't know about that. Uh, no, he activated was... his asshole protocol in his I, brain. Yeah, maybe, maybe I did. I don't know. The asshole protocol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys have any like crazy injuries at your school like when you were like growing up no i i feel like i was pretty good at avoiding injury I like even like bone. anybody you knew like did you guys have like that one kid at school where like everybody talked about like the incident uh mm. some kids died in a car crash oh okay well that's kind of heavy that's a bit more than, that. an injury. That's not really an injury yeah. yeah i meant like somebody broke their arm running down a hallway not like died from <laughs> a drunk driver at 2 a.m <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> I mean, kids would show up in cast, but I never knew about the yeah. incident, really. I mean, yeah. kids, kids always had casts on and shit, because kids are dumb. But. Yeah, kids are dumb, yeah. That's wild. I feel like there was, like, once a week something happened where somebody had, like, a bad injury, and then we'd have to implement a new rule of, like, no doing this. Yeah, it's always a new rule, yeah. It takes somebody yeah. doing something wrong to create a new rule. Yeah, they, like, they removed the soccer post, because one of our... <laughs> we had one, like, soccer net at the end of our, like, field. We had a big field at our grade school. And there was this kid that was hanging on it, and we were seeing if he could make saves while he was hanging on it. And one kid ran from behind him and grabbed his legs while he was hanging on it, and he did, like, a full backflip and went face first into the dirt Damn. and just out cold on the earth for huh. a good little few minutes there, um, which is really bad. I feel like, you know, when your brain's developing and you actually get knocked out to a point where you're, like, unresponsive. <laughs> yeah. That's probably, probably, probably not, not great. Good. Yeah, <laughs> not good. <laughs> yeah, that one. We used to play uh, flag football, which uh, the teachers were fine with. Like, nobody really cared. So people would tackle each other, and they didn't really give a fuck. But they made us play away from the fence because uh, one of my friends was, was running. Nobody even hit him or anything. He just tripped, but he, like, scorpioned and face first into one of, like, the big steel posts that hold up a fence, Ooh. like, hold up a chain link fence. Went right into that, and it literally sounded like... Uh, uh, like a sound effect like an mp3 of like metal <laughs> pipe hit sound effect it was so loud and because it was like right here on his skull it was so dense it was just like a perfect clonk Boom. and then just blood everywhere yeah it was fucking <laughs> wild Oof. it you know, reminded the, me of one you go ahead first mcnasty oh i was gonna say uh the, the story about the removing of the soccer thing um they did remove uh there, there was this like racquetball court that was kind of like on the outside of like the like it was on the field but it was like the very edge on the outside for some reason and they removed it because people kept going back there getting stoned because it would like block off the view of the school oh i thought <laughs> all right oh. man i thought you meant like people would throw rocks at them and shit like no. they just stoned a woman <laughs> a kid got stoned no. in my school it was just this right, big like uh this big um just wall like this racquetball cord that just kind of like it was like faced away from the school, so I actually oh, went back yeah, there one time okay. and got high. So that's the reason I know Hell about yeah. it. Yeah, you reminded me of one actually uh, of an incident where this this really really fat kid was swinging, oh. way too fat to be swinging, and way too weak of a swing. <laughs> <laughs> and the perfect this combo. Shit, this shit just buckled like like this. Oh no! Oh, and that, tacoed on himself. I've seen tacoed, videos like that before. And he was up. He was he was up in the swing, and that shit just gave out. Landed on his ass and he almost bit his tongue off. Oh my oh. god! 
awful Ooh, shit bled everywhere. It was Ugh. it was fucking brutal. I've seen that videos of like that where like an adult school. an adult will be like on a kid swing and that'll happen and it'll just, fung, just like Well he this kid was probably the uh, average weight, the weight of, an of an adult, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so did you guys have like <clears throat> like BMX and skateboard kids that would like try crazy shit at school? Uh I was part of a they uh, weren't allowed friend group to... that was BMX. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember you talking about that how you hated it but just did it anyway. Yeah, I lied did. and like pretended yeah. to be like cool. Yeah. Well, I, I I actually I thought it was pretty fun. I liked it. I didn't do any like crazy shit. Um, I would do like some things that I look back on now and I'm like, yeah, that was probably really dumb. Probably could have put myself in a wheelchair, but like nothing yeah. like, you know, not trying to hit like a flare off of a fucking concrete skate park ramp or anything crazy. But yeah. um, or this one kid just got a BMX first day. Wanted to be sick. There was like this thing where we'd line up like four or five picnic tables like wood picnic tables and go down them and then we'd like try to hit like a 360 or like whatever fucking 180 if you could or i don't know anything um whatever you wanted to try and this one kid was like okay i got a bmx today i'm gonna i'm gonna try to just go down the the bench you know i'm just gonna go down I'm not gonna try a trick it'll be fine and i guess nobody told him that you're supposed to like pull up and kind of like bunny hop off yeah and he just went Full speed. He had, dude, he was moving. Everyone would like oh. kind of take it slow, like pedal like two or three times and then just coast and then do a trick. He pedaled right to the end and <laughs> he just went straight off, made it like a good four feet probably away from the bench. And then the front wheel hits and he just flew off of it. It was really like, you know, when you like going on a skateboard or something, you hit a rock and it stops, yeah, uh -huh. but, like you keep going, like your forward momentum. It was right. like that, like his wheel hit on such an angle that it came right down and he just flew forward and just skidded across the pavement, just became a, a fucking meat crayon. It was Ew. insane. Yeah, he was, uh, he was a little fucked up, but he didn't like break anything or anything too bad. He just had like really, really bad scratches and bruises, but man, that was, that was wild. <laughs> Nobody told him to pull up. Nobody really told him anything. Like, nobody told him he had to do it. He just kind of was like, first day BMX, I got to impress the boys. You'll figure it out. And he just, yeah, he just it. sent it. Yeah, it was pretty wild. That reminds me of that story I, I, I definitely told on the podcast for where I was, like, young, and I was at a lake, and I, like, went down the, I went down, like, the car trail, and I hit the dirt patch and fell and, like, fucked my face up. I don't, I don't, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. definitely yeah, told us before. Because this is I my, I this is my, like, then, incident. Yeah, I get lost on these stories, and then everyone in the comments is like, "You guys have told this story nine times." Yeah, I mean, we're but on I mean, episode. we've also had over a hundred podcasts. So yeah. yeah, we're we're bound to retell. We're some all shit. we're all dementia patients, huh? Yeah. Um, my hamster got out the other day. What? <laughs> Tell the damn story. <laughs> what? Did, what did you just say? <laughs> my hamster got out the other day. <laughs> are you being serious, or are you? Yeah, no. Dementia I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. No, oh. he, he is. I saw your tweet. It got stuck behind the first. What, 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 can you tell your story first? Let's, yeah, wait, wait. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. I want to hear, hear about you eating shit. Eat shit. Oh, oh. Hamster story. How? I, I, I swear to God, I've told this before. I haven't heard it. I don't, I don't think it. I've heard it. Anymore. I don't listen to you when you talk. Okay, tell so. You. No, that's true. When I was like, I think I was like 10 or something. I've heard this one. <laughs> I remember all 10 year old McNasty stories. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of creepy, but whatever. We'll <laughs> yeah. move on past that. Um, yeah, Go when ahead. I was 10, I, I was at a lake with my grandparents and one of my cousins. And I hadn't, I don't think I had learned how to ride a bike without training wheels yet. Man, you were 10 and you're just not, you weren't raw dogging it yet? I just, yeah, I don't know. But we were at that's a lake. Weird sense. This, this lake had like a <laughs> lobby area where you could play like tennis and like had like a lounge area where you can kind of like go and eat food and whatever. And it was mm -hmm. down. You had to like take your car down this like poorly driveway down to the bottom area and i okay. guess i was with my cousin and i wanted to impress him so i took my bike down that like twirly area and at the bottom oh, i hit a patch God, of dirt sick. i hit a patch of dirt and i just fucking boom like face freaking for fake for yeah <laughs> face i bet first. that's what you were talking like after you <laughs> probably yeah uh, well I got, no I got knocked out i uh, there was like oh parts. you were out clean yeah there was parts when i don't remember that's crazy I basically remember waking up in the bathroom and my grandma was like wiping my face off and I thought I was dead. I like asked her, I was like, am I in, am I in heaven? She's like, no. <laughs> and then I passed out again and I woke up in the hospital and that's damn, when I, damn. yeah, 
So, so you really damaged that yeah, so old were, cranium you of yours. Up. Yeah, you were fucked up then. Yeah, one of my front teeth is a full crown because I like broke one full tooth and then the other one got chipped. Jesus. Yeah, no, I feel like I've never heard this. Really? No, I have not been told no. this. Story. Yeah, my face was so like so scratched up I couldn't move it. I had to eat like mashed potatoes for like a month. Like the, that's kind of lit. I couldn't like load. you know my face is so scratched up I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the bright side. Yeah, yeah. and it, they were garlic potatoes too. They were pretty good. Oh, I'd kind of bang. And uh, but yeah, that that kind of sucked for a while. And I was just, I was afraid of bikes, but I can run a bike now. <laughs> just see some guy going by on a bike and <laughs> just fucking panicking. <laughs> yeah. Did my face can just move sideways or am i tripping i have no idea you look beautiful to me okay did you get a new uh, pop filter for your mic yeah my other one was like spitty yeah and stuff Uh, i got like a whole new mic i got the same mic as before just like this one's not spitty uh, because i literally had my other one since i started youtube in 2018 that sounds like if smitty were to become a porn star that would be his name or or a rapper spitty (laughs) or a rapper yeah (laughs) What are you yeah. going to do with your old spitty mic? Uh, I don't know. It's in my closet over there. I'll eat you it. Want it. You can eat it. I'll ship don't it. Don't I think you, you both of you have the same mic, don't you? The 2020? The 2035? Uh, or whatever. 2035. Which, which one is this? 35. The 2020 is, is the USB, I think. It's a 35, yeah. Yeah, this one's 35 as well. Yeah. I think the 2020, oh. they had both versions. I think they had an XLR and a USB. But I think the 2035 is just XLR. I suppose you didn't yeah, get like an upgrade, like a 4040 or something. I didn't. just don't care. This this yeah. one has done the job forever. I've had to sit yeah. this mic for seven years. So. Like I've always said with like my videos, I've never cared about production value. My like my my area of my channel, like the thing what I've always wanted to portray is this like you know reminding people of uh you know like 3 a.m. gaming sessions with your friends, like just goofy yeah. ass shit. You don't need like, ten thousand dollars worth of shit to be like I, I've never seasonal. been like you know about quality and stuff like that like I, I really don't care about the quality of my microphone as long as you can hear what i'm saying properly i just genuinely don't care about it yeah so that's a vibe. <clears throat> i that's a vibe, i have a but. thing where i like to speak into the end of a mic like i like the mic to be pointed at my mouth rather than like vertical and then i'm like speaking at it i don't know just something about it that's fair and this mic okay. is oh, perfect. and then i can like twist it like left and right easily and yeah, I don't know, it's just very. Uh, I mean, this one I can twist as I as I need. Yeah, we have the rotation with this one. Yeah. Yeah. It can do a little rotate, and it can do a little everything. Boner. Oh, I got no problem with my. Okay. You but yeah, no, uh, hamster. Hamster. Yeah, yeah about your hamster. <clears throat> so when I came back from LA, uh, I my girlfriend had just got like into the cage to like, cause she. Fucking loves Daisy. You put your girlfriend you in, keep a her in a cage. <laughs> she had opened. All right, Daisy. we're back from LA. Get in. <laughs> she had put Daisy in, or she had like opened Daisy's cage to like play with her. And I guess missed that game. I guess <laughs> stop. I guess uh, I I might have been talking to her while she put her back in the cage and forgot to like turn the lock or something. And uh, we went to sleep, and we woke up like ele- I think eleven oh. hours later. And I came out to like Holy fuck. check on like to check on her food or whatever. She didn't have any food, and I noticed the fucking thing was open. And I was like, "Oh my god!" And, <laughs> and I lifted her little house up, and sure, she she wasn't in there. So she was she was running around the house for a good 11, 10, 11 hours. I don't even think I'd look. I think I would just go get another hamster. <laughs> yeah, you never find <laughs> like, that. Find bitch. the Dude. find the other hamster corpse like three years later, just rotted under the fridge. Dude, Daisy is such a she's like. She's just such a cool hamster. Like, you pick her up and she does not bite you ever. She doesn't bite anybody. She's like, she's so like, f- like big and fat. She's like this big, fat, like fluff ball. And she just, she's not like a typical, I mean, she does hamster things. Like, she runs on her wheel and shit, but she's not, I don't know. Anytime I've ever interacted with a hamster that's not mine, I'm always just like, dude, fuck hamsters. They're like, they bite you. How and they're often just like, have you interacted with hamsters? <laughs> like I mean, my, hamster sister, my sister used to have a couple <laughs> when she was younger and they would bite. And then I've just always really? heard stories about people oh. having hamsters that just, they're like they're irritable. Assholes. Like if you touch them, they're like, ah, fuck you. But oh, Daisy just too. Daisy, they're both chill. Daisy's just like a she's like a puppy. She just kind of like, I don't know. She's it's like she likes to be. She likes affection. I don't know. I've never actually seen a, an adult own a hamster, so that's kind of cool. Me neither. One that wasn't on a spectrum of some sort. But did I tell you guys how I got the hamster? I imagine you purchased it. No. No, I didn't. Did you go find it did from the, the plains of Africa? Yeah, yeah. I went to the Sahara Desert and just picked one of the ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> I lit a box white, trap and caught that bitch. knuckled it. Actually, most, I think most like, like general hamsters you would get at a store are Syrian. They're like a Syrian, yeah, would, Syrian yeah, hamster. Huh. Yeah, but um, no, I went, I went to my grandparents on Thanksgiving and uh, they, so my grandparents take care of, you know, you know, my cousin that I used to live with, not the cop one, but the, the frog one. He was the one we recently hung what out with sense. when, when yeah. Soup was here. The frog well, cousin. That's, yeah. how our, that's how our fans <laughs> refer to him. They ask you, is that the cop one or is that the frog one? But okay. uh, no, he used to, his, his dad died a couple years ago. So my grandparents watch his kids mm-hmm. and his kids had Daisy for like four months. And then they just like, because they're just a couple of boys, they don't give a fuck about a hamster anymore. Like it's just kind of like the novelty wore off. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, this mask is like... <laughs> I didn't it's know going what in the my fuck mouth a lot. Happening. Um, and yeah, when I went over Thanksgiving, they were like asking everybody if they were interested in, you know, giving her a new home, and nobody was saying yes. And I was just like, you know, fuck it, I'll take it. And I took it. Sure, I mean, that's a valid reason to have a hamster. Base, <laughs> yeah, like I said, Based if I hamster owner. if I would have picked her up at my grandma's house and she like tried to bite me and she was all, bam, like wiggling and trying to get away from me, I would have been like, no. If she bit you, I feel like you would have just crushed its bones with your fingers. <laughs> no, it as hard as possible just against the nearest turned it wall. into turned it into talcum powder, just shattered its insides. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, she was just like really sweet, and I was just like, oh, this is cool. That's cool. Do you ever hold her and think I could just squeeze yeah. the shit out of you at any I always point? think, like, whenever I hold her, I'm like, dude, I could totally just slam her into the floor right now. Like, the amount of power you have against that hamster. Right, like, your life is yeah. solely in my hands right now. Literally and metaphorically. I have a lot of intrusive thoughts that never... Oh, yeah. All right. I mean, I don't, okay. I don't act on them, obviously, because I'm not a psychopath, but... Okay. Like, I just, like, when I'm in the... Like, when I'm in the car, I'm like, you could totally just, like, turn and just destroy the civilian. Like, kill him. Just try, but you don't do that because you're like your brain is sane, you know. You have yeah. the ability to say yeah. no to that, but I just I don't know. I think about a lot I'm of. Glad like, you have the ability to say no to destroying a civilian. Like sometimes you it's don't not, even drive. You don't even have your license. Know, Are you just driving still. licenseless, killing somebody. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Is this when your cousin's <laughs> driving? It's like, damn, I sure wish she would swerve into a person right no, now. No, I don't wish it. I'm just like that. It's literally a possibility, and it could happen. Oh well, sure. Yeah, I mean, but you can think that about anything. You pick up a screwdriver, you could stab somebody in the temple with it. Yeah, like, it's you, not you always. Could, it's not always an evil thought. Like sometimes I'll be at the grocery store and I'll be like, I can totally just like take this potato salad, take the lid off and just plop it all over the floor and just walk away. That's evil as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's so BM. You're just wasting food. Yeah. Pack it. <laughs> it's not it's not always evil. I could also do something evil. I could just go and mow my neighbor's lawn right now if I wanted to. Okay, there you go. I, I thought when you said grocery store, I thought you were gonna say I could totally just pay for everyone's groceries in here. But <laughs> yeah, no, I, could, or like, I could yeah, dump the potato evil. salad out. <laughs> I just got something that's Literally. not related to like killing a person or a thing. Okay, you know. <clears throat> that's good. Yeah, I have intrusive yeah, thoughts good. about like when I see something really, really disgusting, like a like a rusted dumpster. I was saying, what would happen if I ate that? What what would happen if I licked that right now? Ate yeah. a dumpster, an entire well, whatever. Dumpster. You know, like 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 took a took a piece off of it and just like consumed it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what sort of reaction would my body have? Would right, tinnitus. Or not tinnitus. Uh, yeah, probably, I don't know. Tinnitus, yeah, you'd start hearing. <laughs> Damn, I've been eating ringing. a lot of dumpsters and I didn't even realize it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? Tetanus. tetanus. Is that you're looking? Yeah. yeah. Tetanus. tetanus. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I have it yeah. with that kind of shit. That's, that's fair. I don't know if I have enough of these intrusive thoughts. I feel like mine are usually just, like, for the sake of memes. Like, I'll only allow intrusive thoughts to come in when it's time to be a funny little guy. Funny little mm. weirdo. That is true. Like, during the session, they really come out. Yeah, during this session or like drinking with your friends, you're like, I'm going to I'm gonna put my head in a planter or like just something <laughs> random, you know? I feel like alcohol or, or gaming brings out those intrusive thoughts. I feel yes. like I'm never just driving and I'm like, I can murder somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just you, buddy. That's just you, McNasty. Yeah. yeah man, I'm a natural bone killer. Tell me about Metallica. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, so, you guys doing cool while it's on, but I guess that's, that's the thing. Metallica... A little bit disappointing. Yeah, I, I saw that's your DM about how he, hear how he was fucking up on some solos and stuff. No, 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 that wasn't why it was disappointing. But yeah, he did like the second song they did, like Kirk was just kind of like, yeah, it sounded like he was playing Guitar Hero and missing notes. <laughs> really? Nice. Okay. But, uh, I feel that like there's not many Metallica solos that are like crazy difficult, especially because he like wrote them, presumably. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, they're yeah. not like insane O style. I think his hardest no. solo from uh, like a video I watched a long time ago was um, maybe Creeping Death. I think one of them was like pretty. Like, there's like a list of like least to hardest solos he's ever written. 
Mm -hmm. But uh, what, what what made it disappointing? So what made it disappointing was <clears throat> their first like okay. five songs they did was acoustic. No, oh, they played like acoustic versions of songs. Yeah, and there was like two or three songs Why I the didn't even fuck know. Would you want to? You are not see there. Metallica <laughs> acoustic. Yeah, if you want to see Metallica, it's like. I want to see Metallica. <laughs> They're yeah. thrash and headbang and punch the guy to my left. And then yeah. they, and then the the after they did that, they switched over to electric, and they uh -huh. only played like two famous songs. Like their other songs were a lot of songs from like Fuel, the Fuel album, and like I don't know, uh -huh. it's it just wasn't like they didn't play Master Puppets. They didn't play one. They didn't play really like a lot of their biggest songs. And it was just kind of like, I don't know, especially because I spent like two grand on those tickets. You know, it wasn't just like regular general admission. Did they not even play their like newest song? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I don't recognize the, the Lux Eterna or Etna or whatever it's fucking called. Yeah, yeah. Etna. I don't Etna. <laughs> Incredibles. Etna yeah. mode. Maybe they did. I just, I don't know. I didn't recognize it, but um, hmm. yeah. They played yeah. like Seek and Destroy. They played Enter Sandman, obviously. Yeah. Um, oh, and then I think they played Harvester of Sorrow. I think those you are know, the only uh, three. I, they're probably just bored of playing the same songs over and over. But on the same token, it's like a lot of people pay money to hear that song over. Yeah. And over. Well, like, my they cousin don't really care that you're tired of it. That's what you sign up for. My cousin went and saw them in January of this year, and it was it's it's the same tour they've been on. And yeah. uh, he said when he saw them, they played all their greats. They played all the best songs, like every like every song they played, he knew. And he he went to this one with me, and he was like. Yeah, there was a lot of songs they play where I just had no idea what the fuck the song was. That's odd. <clears throat> Maybe so, they were just taking it easy that night yeah, for some reason. Or just playing a bunch of deep cuts. That's kind of lame, though, because if I was in L.A., you'd think they'd bring out, like, yeah, you know, that's a that's going to be a big audience, presumably. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why, why and it was, play, a, like, it, it was a charity event, too. Like, the whole thing, like, every proceed. Oh, that might be why. Mm. They're just like, fuck it. I guess. Like I feel like charity, not, I don't know. Like, it was, it felt short, too. It felt like it didn't last very long. It ended at, like, like 8 30 p.m. and it started at like six wow that's Damn. early for a yeah, concert to did get they out. have openers yeah did they have like openers yeah maybe? they had Greta Van Fleet I I honestly like Greta Van oh, Fleet that's more a really than, short show then what the fuck yeah I think Greta Van Fleet maybe played for like a half hour that's kind of shit yeah but Greta Van Fleet was sick they are super good live yeah I've heard they're solid live I'm not a huge fan of their music but I like know. man mm. I, I like what they're doing it's it's really fucking cool I don't know yeah. why I don't like their music because like they're kind That's of okay. just great value, like Led Zeppelin. So I like, I like. Led if you Zeppelin listen to lot, their obviously. recent stuff, they're 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 definitely going away from that like typical Led Zeppelin sound. Yeah, I haven't heard the newer just, stuff. I don't know. It's just weird that I don't like them for some reason. I feel like <clears> I should, and I've like tried to listen to them multiple times, and I you know gone in with an open mind. It wasn't like a fuck them. I want to be Led Zeppelin. Like, yeah, I was always yeah. like, oh, that should be dope. Like I'm so about that. But there are people yeah, like know. that though. They literally just don't like him because they're trying to be Zeppelin. But it's like, oh, why? I know. it's so fucking. Lame. It's like Zeppelin like, doesn't make music anymore. Why would you not want like yeah. more music? That, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, they're exactly. like, oh, modern music is dog shit. And then somebody comes in and tries to make like modern music that sounds like old music. They're, like, they're just trying to copy them. Exactly. Like, what you, you fucking want them to do, bro. You cannot like, win as a musician. <laughs> there, no, you literally can't. It's impossible. It's like they literally. It's like they want Led Zeppelin. To be like twenty five again and make music. Yeah, it's like literally, they're, they're all fucking a hundred. Like they're not gonna make music. Yeah, anymore. right. Yeah, it's fucking dumb. Well, that's. I mean, at least you got to go to a, a Metallica show. I've ne I've never seen him. I, I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing. Them I'm definitely at, gonna at go see him again at, at a non charity event because the next yeah. one will probably be. They sounded like really good imagine. live too. Like they're they sounded amazing live. It's just the fact that they played half of the set acoustically and then. Yeah, that would song. piss me off. I feel like I'd be really <clears throat> fucking annoyed. Yeah. It's like, bro, what? And like yeah. everybody like, else too, like wasn't really like rocking out. Like nobody, yeah. everybody was just kind of standing up and just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when they started playing electric, and then everybody was kind of like head banging and you know. Yeah, that's that's better. That's what you <clears> expect. <throat> I mean, imagine going to like a White Chapel show and they pull out like a piano ballad for the first four songs. <laughs> right, yeah. like, the it, fuck it, is going on, man? It's not a, it's not a get out your phone, turn on the like the light and do the. The sway yeah, type it's not a, Yeah, it's that's not, not the vibe of. No. Yeah, no, that's that's well, that's all right. At least, at least you got to go. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I was in I was in Dominican Republic for for a week. That was fun. You held monkey. I did. I held a monkey. Actually, fuck that guy. Fuck Why? the monkey guy, bro. So like, <laughs> they they walked down the beach. Take that out of context. So I I don't know about, <laughs> out of I don't context, know about you, goons. but when I'm on the beach, I don't walk around with fat wads of cash in my pocket. No. Yeah. Like I, it's just you don't. You're going swimming. Maybe you'll have like, 
a tenner on you, especially when you're an all like on an all inclusive resort. You don't really yeah, carry cash yeah, that much, true. like other than tipping money, which is like some ones, fives, and you know maybe a ten if you really like them or whatever. But like I tip, I didn't 20s. have much on me. <laughs> I'm a big tipper. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I well, it depends what they're doing. If they're just giving yeah. me a fucking one drink, I'm not gonna give them a twenty dollar U.S. bill. But uh, but yeah, like regardless, I didn't have a ton of money in my pocket. Uh, just like stuff to tip for drinks and shit. And this fucking dude walks by and. Uh, one of the girls we were with, he puts a parrot on her head. And I was like, okay, that's kind of goofy, <laughs> okay. whatever. Like, she didn't ask for it. He just put it on her head. Unsolicited and then she's like, parrot Yeah, she head. was like, she was like, oh, I guess I'll take a picture with it. And then his homie rolls up from, like, behind the fucking trees, like, just came out of the swamplands holding a giant lizard. And he just puts that on her. And she's like, okay, that's kind of enough animals. The monkey dude comes out again, drops a monkey on her. So she had a monkey, a lizard, and a parrot all sitting on her at once. And she's just, like, not vibing with it at all. It sounds like so a was, setup we for a like, joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were a like, monkey, we a parrot, like, and a gerbil going to a bar. We're like, all right, shit. chill out. Like, chill out a little bit. And I was like, okay, well, I, I wouldn't mind seeing the monkey. And This was on your girlfriend? No, that was just on, that was on one of the girls we were with. Oh, okay. Um, And then, uh, so he comes, I was like, I'll take the monkey. I want to hold the monkey, whatever. And he didn't tell me anything. He, like I was, I was gonna give him a tip, obviously, if I took a picture with it. Yeah. Um, I was gonna pay him, and I was like, yeah, I, I love taking a photo with the monkey, whatever. He puts some monkey on me, and the guy, I see the guy walking over with the fucking iguana, and I was like, uh, uh-uh, no, no iguana, no lizard. And he said lizard. I said no lizard, and he puts a lizard on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess I got the fucking lizard too. Like the but only then, word he knows in the world is lizard. <laughs> <it's> lizard. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but. The fucking, the guy with the parrot walks up, and then I was like, no. Like, I made it very obvious. I was like, don't fucking put the bird on me. He pulls out, like, eight parrots. I was like, all right, no, fuck the bird. But then the monkey and the iguana literally start fighting on me. The monkey (laughs) is throwing haymakers. Oh, my God. Like, I had had them on each side of me. Like, I had them on my hand, like this originally. And the monkey is throwing fucking haymakers. And he's like, he chilled it out. I put it on my shoulder. And then you can see in the, I posted on Instagram, like mm-hmm. the monkey looking over and then uh, biting him. Uh, yeah, the monkey was literally trying to like snap his neck. Like the monkey kept grabbing the iguana's Damn. head and just twisting it. What like an as asshole. Hard as he, and the, yeah, <laughs> and I was like, bro, take the iguana. Like I just wanted the monkey. And then whatever. Imagine, imagine he, if the monkey took the iguana, flipped him upside down and just like <laughs> suplexed him into the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> 40 Broke his times. neck. Like, yeah, 40 did all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but like. After all that, I was like, all right, I just want one photo with the monkey. But, like, my girlfriend is taking photos of, like, the whole endeavor. Yeah. But, like, uh, so I was like, I just want a photo with the monkey. And he takes the monkey off me. And they both look at me at the same time and go, $40. I was like, what do you mean, God. $40? He's like, $40. I was like, like, 20 for each of you for putting an animal on me. I was <laughs> like, I didn't even ask for the lizard. And he's like, $40. I was like, bro, I do not have $40 for you each. Like, that's just not happening. And he started to get, like, pissed. Like, he was getting loud and shit. And he's like, you expect to just fucking come here and, like, take things for free and stuff? I was like, bro, I took a picture with a lizard against my will. You put the lizard on me. <laughs> like, I didn't ask. I asked for the monkey. And I just uh, went into my bag, and I had a $20 bill in there, but I was like, fuck that. So I just had a five, and I was like, this is for both of you. Fucking split it. Fuck off. That's and he, he walked away, but he was wild. pissed. That reminds yeah, me of those, like, uh, those girls in Vegas with, like, the they have, like, the feathery getup. Like, they walk around the street. Yeah. And you yeah. think you could just take a picture of them for free, and then they're like, hey, give me money. $40. Yeah, nah. yeah well, I was going to give them money. Like, I did. I, I was yeah. planning on it, but, bro, your monkey photo is not worth $40 a piece. That's fuck <laughs> out of here. That's and then, wild. like. So it's I can so just funny. take an iguana to the mall. Put it put it on somebody's head, ask throw him it for on forty dollars and, and be like forty bucks and get pissed. You <laughs> yeah, can no, buy an the, iguana for forty bucks. Is he is even <laughs> fucking funnier? The the girl that he put it on, uh, she called her boyfriend and like he was walking back and she's like on the phone with him and she's like literally about to go into like tears. She's like, There's people really mad at me. They put an iguana, a monkey, a parrot <laughs> on my head, and now they're asking for money. And just over the phone, you hear. <laughs> What? Huh? <laughs> I just had no idea. It was so fucking funny, bro. I was dying, but yeah, they eventually like they just they felt bad for her. I guess they pitied her because she was like literally about to break into tears because they were like yelling at her for money. Like she had no yeah. money on her because like you're at the fucking beach yeah. wearing a bikini. Like why? why you think I just have a hundred dollar bill in my fucking titty? Like hey, get out of here, dude. Uh, so yeah, those guys were absolute fucking dicks. But somebody needs to animate that, dude. Funny. I, I'm just like, while you were t- telling that story, I was just picturing like animation of that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Those I mean, amazing. I have like I have like fifty photos. My girlfriend was just spamming them of like the whole endeavor. You see, like you <laughs> so see, you owe that guy two grand. Yeah, I, I probably owe that guy like a quarter million dollars right now. <laughs> <laughs> for the amount of photos that they took but you could see like the process of her getting the parrot and it's funny and then you see her getting more and more uncomfortable as animals start appearing on her and it's all in like a photo it's so fucking funny yeah it was it was good though i went to a, a wedding there uh two of my friends got married it was it was tight the wedding was 15 minutes which is like good. the best fucking thing in the Let's world go. yeah it was, it was so nice we like sat down they did a little beach wedding like they're already married beforehand um just like whatever eloped or whatever the fuck it's called, where you just like are <laughs> technically and legally married, but you didn't like do a ceremony. Do a ceremony. Or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they went and did their ceremony on the beach, fifteen minutes, and then they gave us on all the champagne, beach. and then uh, we all got knackered in a bar waiting, and then we had a reception at like knackered, whatever. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, knackered, drunk, fucked up. Oh. A little bit British little, or something? A little bit jank. Oh, I've got a little, oh, got a little naked got a little last night. Knackered and I pissed it's a me. Pretty bitches. normal saying around here. I don't know, but I've uh, never heard that before. We call it pissed yeah, drunk. The, <laughs> yeah we only got pissed drunk and then uh yeah we we had a little reception by the pool where they just had like a dj and unlimited food and drinks and i had like 15 <clears> gin and tonics and thought i was gonna meet god that night but yeah no it was super fun <laughs> it was a it's really nice lovely. country nice. actually i was i was a little worried when i like looked up where it was and i was like man it's connected to haiti it might be like a little rough around the edges here but it was actually yeah. really nice everyone there was super super nice the weather was great um the resorts were like better than cuba obviously but as a country it's a lot less fun than cuba like going into like veradero or, or not veradero i should say uh, havana and shit in uh, cuba is is fucking awesome but like all the cities like the old kinda... CS or the call of duty map yeah the cod map when you walk around the old cod map it's, uh -huh. it's very very fun and interesting and cool and there's a lot of history but uh yeah dominican was just like ladies shaking their bundas and fun stuff like that going on but ladies it wasn't, shaking you know, their bundas Bundas, we call that yeah, ass here. Bundas. Did you go to Dominican Republic and learn a bunch of new words or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. What? English. Bunda, well, they're all naked and they're shaking their boondas. Nah, it's a boonda. <laughs> it was quite a riveting time. It was good time. The lizard man taught time. me to speak fun. the native tongue. <laughs> yep. So lizard guy, uh, I saw poop guy do some crazy bargaining. Uh, there was a guy walking That's around a great with like... sentence. Uh, <laughs> there was a guy walking around with like... Literally, he had this, like, board of, of fucking sunglasses on it. There's probably, like, 200 pairs of sunglasses that were Oh, that's what like, that one guy does. Uh, remember that guy on, on fucking or, uh, TikTok? He used to go, uh, oh, it was that black guy used to sing. I don't, know, I don't think I've ever seen him. Anyways, go ahead. I'll try and remember. But yeah, like, he, he, had a big, he had a big board. And there was these ugly-ass, like, pit viper sunglasses that, yeah, that man saw. Those. Oh, bro, he looked like a champion in them, though. We, uh, he saw him, and the guy was like, yeah, forty eight dollars. Man, he's like ten dollars. It's like forty eight dollars. It's like ten dollars. And the guy's like forty five dollars. Man, he just kept repeating ten dollars over and over. The guy just kept going down and down <laughs> all the way till he got ten dollars for it and walked away with his pit vipers. They're what so fucking Chad. goofy. They're so ugly, but he wore them the whole fucking time. Looked like an absolute buffoon in them. But yeah, I got to hang out with him and Smitty the whole week, so that was nice, and then yeah, our girlfriends and shit. So yeah, it was fun. It was nice to sit on a beach for a while, even though I'm going to Aruba for ten days next month. So yeah, I went Man, to the beach for about trip. twenty minutes in LA. It was kind of all right. I don't know about LA beaches, <clears throat> dude. It's it's literally just GTA's Five Beach. Yeah, like that well, big oh, beach in like okay. Malibu that's yeah. by the Santa Monica Pier. Like it's just yeah, okay. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I was it's too crowded. I when like I went, there wasn't hardly anybody so there. Was it cold? Uh, yeah. I mean, probably oh, not a lot of people go. going to the beach in the cold. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sure during the yeah. summer, that, that beach is fucking Yeah, packed. it's fucking chaos there. Yeah. I do not like going there at all. Even the pier is <clears> so <throat> shit. It's yeah. like... Yeah, we didn't. the pier was the, packed. We didn't want to go to the pier. No, you go there, you go to Bubba Gump, you buy a sweater, and you leave. I... Uh, there's a Bubba Gump in Monterey, which I would... I mean, I've been there multiple times, so Bubba Gump is not really like... I've never anything. I've never special. actually eaten. I've never actually eaten there. It was it's just pretty like, good. We were on the we were good. on the pier and it was fucking cold and everything else. They were like California sweatshirt, two hundred dollars. We went into <laughs> yeah. fucking. We went into the Bubba Gump <laughs> gift shop, like thirty dollars for this ugly ass Bubba Gump sweater. Nailed it, perfect. Yeah, all had our Bubba Gump sweaters on. It was it was fucking clutch. Speaking of food, I I finally tried fucking Wagyu while I was there. It was really good. Hell yeah. 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 Was it like Japanese A5 or was it like Australian American? Yeah, it was like Japanese A5. 
A5, yeah. Do you know where? Like, was it like Miyazaki, <clears throat> Kobe, or... Holy shit. Like, do, you, do you know this any... Like, oh, analysis? I don't I don't know exactly. Yeah, it all depends. It, it changes. There's like... It, like, it, ta- it tastes different from different places. Yeah, all I know yeah. is 38 bucks an ounce. I don't That's, know what that would be. I don't know. Sounds I don't like, like a lot, off, but I, I, don't I don't know the price off the dock of my head. So I don't really yeah. know. I would but love to try this, though. It came out on it these two, good. like, on these, it came out pre sliced on these two, like, complete, like, super hot rocks. And okay. it was, I don't know. It's just fucking, it was really good. But yeah, you, I can tell that you, you cannot eat a lot of that. It's super fatty. No, like, like, I went with my, my, like, my girlfriend and I went to a place in Detroit called Prime and Proper, and they had, like, a, uh, a Wagyu sampler, and she's not huge on red meat, mm-hmm. and it was three ounces of um, snow Wagyu, uh, Miyazaki, and then Kobe, I believe. Um, so there was three ounces of each of those, so nine ounces total, right? Yeah, that checks out. And she had, like, three pieces, and I was like, bruh, like, I got to finish this. And, and I tried to eat the rest, which was probably, like, I don't know, like six ounces left of meat. And I I felt like I was gonna die. Like I love mm-hmm. steak. I could eat I could eat a ribeye oh, yeah. every day. Like I could eat an American Wagyu ribeye like every single day of my life, and I'd be I'd be content as fuck. Like I love steak, yeah. but that was like I felt like I was gonna yak after. It was way too much. Wagyu needs to be like enjoyed with friends, where you have like two little pieces and then eat yeah. something else. Yeah. So we because right. when I texted the group chat and asked you guys like where I should go, um, we ended up going to Nobu. Nobu, yeah, Nobu's not bad. Yeah, it was cool because, like, I mean, we just, like, tried it. Like, everything was shareable, which was fun. I'd never really, like, yeah. done that before. But, um, yeah, we only got, like, four Some ounces of... are like that. We only got four ounces of Wagyu, and we all just, like, tried it. That's all you should get, to be honest. How many of them <clears throat> yeah. were you? Uh, four. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Ounce each? Yeah. Also, it gets fucking expensive when you buy, like, a shit ton. Like, if you get 12 ounces of Wagyu, that's, like, depending on what it is, it could be, like, $600, which is just, like... Damn. That's a lot for yeah. Me. I think the whole thing was like seven fifty, like for all, because we got a bunch of different shit. Yeah. And then I tipped like yeah, two fifty. Yeah, Nobu's so. a little, little overpriced, but that's okay. It's still pretty solid. Yeah, I don't like when you ask. I, I really don't know like many places in LA. I always just go to wherever the fuck everyone else is going. Hmm. LA is kind of a doo doo hole. I don't really like it there like at all. Yeah, it's like it's rough. Like downtown LA is actually a shithole. That's where I stayed. Like it's yeah. just disgusting. Yeah. Like if you're if you're on. around the big hotels, it's not so bad. But a block and a half away from the hotels, you're you're starting to get in like, you know, shit on the floor territory. Oh, yeah. I mean, what? there's shit on the floor like everywhere. Like yeah, trash. We went to this fucking library, and like number one, the streets were desolate for some reason, which was really fucking off putting in like one of the most populated areas like yeah. in North America. <clears throat> um, but the, there was this huge old bookstore. It's a famous bookstore. I can't remember the name of it. But literally, like, walk out. The minute we walk out, fat hot log on the sidewalk. Just oh. lay in there. Like, somebody, like, doo-dooed while they were walking, and it, like, dragged and uh. just kept walking. Like, literally immediately outside the door. And what this is, like, fuck? yeah, this is, like, a big, like, popular bookstore where there's, like, countless people walking in and uh. out of the head. And just nobody thought, I should probably shovel the poo-poo. It was just, let's leave somebody that there step over it. it. Like it's just yeah, it's just insanely gross in LA. Like, That's how San York Francisco like was. That. Really, I've been to San Francisco I've been, like, a few peeing. times and it's not really that bad. The whole city smelled like piss, and I actually saw homeless people actively pissing themselves as I was walking past them. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like there's just a river of pee at all times there, but yeah, I, I didn't see hot logs on the street, but I saw hot piss stain and piss and okay. piss on the guy. LA, the everywhere. thing with LA too is there's fucking trash everywhere. Oh yeah, it's like tons yeah. of trash. And like even yeah, I, even when you're walking, like even though you don't see poop, every once in a while you just smell it. You smell poop. It's like where is this hidden turd at? It's like on the curb or something. It's like playing a game of I Spy. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. like find Waldo, but find the hot <clears throat> steaming shit next to the taco place because it's really off putting while I eat. Yeah, it's pretty rough. But we drove through like Beverly Hills and stuff, and Beverly Hills is pretty nice. It was a very nice yeah. area. That area is not too bad. And it's kind of we always stay. It's more calm over there too. It's not so yeah. like, like downtown LA. It's like. When I first got there, what put me off is how people drive. It is fucking crazy how brave people oh, they're are. They're violent. Yeah, oh, like yeah, cutting in front of you. Driving. Like they they will literally like there's like half of a car length, and they will cr- they will cut in front of you and be like, "Fuck you." Yeah, yeah, they're about it, and then they'll honk at you. Like, <coughs> yeah, driving normal. Yeah, it's, right. yeah you no, have it's to be as aggressive there. as them, or you're retarded. Uh huh. Yeah, 
And the thing is, too, is we're, yeah. you know, we're in a fucking TRX, big ass giant truck. So it's like even worse. Yeah, we're trying care. to like cram into like the smallest areas. Yeah. Oh, up, yeah. You drove there. That sounds like hell. I ended up uh, scratching the top of my truck at a fucking. Uh, Attaboy. At a, uh, what are they called? a parking garage. Because the guy yeah. lied about the fucking height. Oh, and it was too short. What? Yeah. You could do something okay. about <clears> that <throat> if you wanted to. Probably. Like they have to post gun? those like clear. Yeah, what do you think I mean? <laughs> well, I they have to did, post those like clearance signs or whatever. It did say like the you. clearance. I wasn't in the car when it happened. It was my mom driving, and she, oh. uh, like, I guess the valet was just like, "Yeah, no, you're good. Keep going." And then I just, <clears throat> and then yeah, I don't oh. know. Oh. Tough. You should shoot I him think, in the face. I think my favorite place to stay in LA is at the SLS, the hotel, because like. That's the number one place where celebrities go to just have like one night stands with people. So you just see like hmm. random celebrities shame walking a sidewalk huh. whore out at 4 a.m. Nice. It's uh, a good time. Yeah, definitely, definitely a good place to stay. Yeah, we and had um, to everything ish. Tony Hawk was staying in our hotel. That's kind of know. Did you see him? Uh, my cousin saw did him. Did you tell him? Did you what? tell him you kind of look like Tony Hawk? No, I didn't see him. It was my okay. cousin. He loves that. Because Tony Hawk was at the, he was at the concert. Because it was like a charity event, and then they had like other people, like Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs was there. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel was there. Mike Rowe doing at a Metallica. Because Mike Rowe, he also has his own charity that's kind of like similar to what Metallica's charity was about. That's and the same thing with Tony Hawk too. Like Tony Hawk is a charity where he like, uh, he he builds like safe skate parks. Because skate parks can usually be in like rough areas, and then they're like unsafe and shit. So he like, yeah. And then uh, fucking Robert Downey Jr. was there too. Whoa! Oh, cool. Yeah, he like announced like Metallica when they came out. That yeah, was kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. There, I tell you about. I, I think I've probably told this story on the podcast, but when I found out I was having dinner with Tony Hawk's son. Yeah, he's like uh, a friend yeah, of Misfits, isn't he? Yeah, I didn't know if I would ever said it on the podcast or not. Hmm. I think you have. I, I have. Know. I have dementia wiped this somehow. Yeah. Well, <clears> long story short, I was eating next to this dude. Uh, the Misfits rented out an entire fucking restaurant for no good reason because there was like 10 of us, so they rented out the whole thing. Somewhere in L.A., no idea. And I was sitting next to this dude, and he was like talking about whatever. He got talking about shit, as you do when you sit next to somebody you don't know. Just, you know, introduce yourself and see what's going on with them. And he's just mm-hmm. talking about like, yeah, no, I like I skate a shit ton, and he like plays guitar and stuff. And he's like, yeah, like my dad has like a skate park in our backyard. And, like, just kept going off about, like, his dad and shit. And I was like, damn, this guy's dad sounds fucking sick. And then, like... Is your last name Hawk? Towards... <laughs> yeah, no, it was, like... I forget I forget exactly how I found it. I can't remember if it was after or, like, during it. That's when he's like, oh, yeah, no, Tony Hawk's kid's a nice nice dude. And I was like... Like, I just I just remember being like, oh, dude, that... Like, I connected dots immediately. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, that makes so much sense why this dad... Like, this, What's his son's name? Like, dad Cooper so or cool. something? Keegan. Keegan was Keegan. the one that I knew. Yeah. Really, really Keegan nice Hulk. dude. Really fucking dope, dude. Um, yeah, no, I haven't talked to him in a while, but, uh, but yeah, he was a fan of the Misfits and stuff like that. So, because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the Misfits went the next day to go to his dad's skate park in his backyard, and uh, we were gonna go, but I, I, had to, I had to get. Yeah, it was in one of their videos, videos wasn't it? Like one of their vlog videos. Probably, I miss that era of the Misfits. <laughs> that was a good time. Always traveling with them, and like they did literally just insane shit off camera all the time for no good reason. Mm. But yeah, that 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 was, that was peak Misfits era. Mm-hmm. I don't I, feel I like do my social battery could handle hanging out with them. No, they're well, they're like. I would need a nap you, in between, like. No, they're vlogs. they're they're pretty <laughs> chill when they like, when they're just chilling. Like uh, the amount of times we just hung out in the hotel room and like, ordered food and just like watched movies or whatever. Uh, like, Swagger went off on a tangent one time about the fucking. Uh, oh, he used to uh, play games and listen to the. One of the lizard wizard, whatever the fuck. Yeah, that he's that's King like, Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I'm starting yeah, to think he's yeah, the fucking not, like owner of that band. Did he? Yeah, yeah he, he is uh, the spokes, but the shill. He is the he'd shill. Be talking for about them. Yeah, yeah. He literally just went off on a tangent for like an hour, and then uh, the manager at the time, uh, that same day, would like he ordered chicken nuggets, fell asleep. They didn't get delivered because he fell asleep. So the guy gave up waiting, ordered chicken nuggets, fell asleep, and rinsed and repeat x amount of times. <laughs> and yeah there's that was there was a lot before. of that yeah I, i'm pretty sure i've told on the podcast but uh yeah no they used to do a ton of fun shit and then obviously you know things started to slowly devolve yeah but 
good days. Good old, good, good memories. I remember the first time I met Fist is when we got lost together in Boston with some guy who owns a CSGO gambling website in, in Cryos. So it was me, Fitz, Cryos, and the gambling dude. And all I remember is the, the dude that owned the gambling Vlad? website. It was like, yeah, it was Vlad. Um, it was like a 25-minute Uber. And none of us really knew where we were going at all. And fucking Vlad played Runaway by Kanye probably the entire time, just over and over. He just <laughs> fucking loved that song for some reason. So all he right. just kept playing it. And we're just like, so fucking annoyed at that song. And then we got it. They dropped us off. And, like, we didn't even notice. We just kind of got out of the car, started walking, and he drove away. And we we're like, hey, this isn't a big hotel. These are suburbs. These are people's houses. And we didn't know where to go. And then Vlad peed on a house. And then we made somebody else call us another rubric so we didn't know what was happening. And it was just a whole thing. But that was the first time I met Fitz was getting lost with him somewhere in Boston. Hmm. And watching a guy pee on a house. Good time. Hell yeah. Good times. Very Every interesting. Very interesting. Nothing too exciting, but yeah, they were they were they weren't too bad. They were never like doing like actually reckless like shit that would get you like in front yeah. of prison. It was always just they do a little trolling. They do as much as you could do without getting arrested. That's how you should be. Sense. Yeah, they'll go as far as they can go <laughs> legally before doing shit that's actually going to get them in huge trouble. I feel like whenever Back we're then. together in person, we're not going to be anywhere on that level. We're just going to be like just hanging out and getting. Uh, I don't know, man. Soup soup was getting us there. We were soup. Brandon and Ethan were carrying me to federal prison, essentially. It, it was getting rowdy towards the end. They weren't like that at all with here with me. They were just like, we were just bar hopping, and then we, that was it. We came home and played guitar. and Maybe he was in a particularly illegal mood. It might have been because yeah. I was in like his 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 neck of the woods, so he knew what he could get away with. Yeah, you know, I guess California. that is true. Yeah, that's true. Foreign lands to him. Yeah. So he didn't want to like overstep his boundary and know what people are like there and shit like that. So Yeah. Cause you're always more comfortable doing reckless shit when you like know the area. Like, right. Like I, I'd, I'd never speed going down roads that I don't know. But if it's a road that I'm like very well aware of, I'm fucking ripping. True. Yeah. So, like that's a similar, similar idea. Rip a fart on my mouth. This is a very sniffly podcast. Are you also sick, McNasty or do whoever sniffing? No. I just be having allergies. I just have boogers in my boogers oh, in my booger enough. hole. That's fair. That's I am yeah. sick and want to go to bed. Well, we could probably call the it podcast. there. It's been uh, about an hour. I mean, oh, wait. Can talk can, about one more thing? Code Goons. Gamer sucks. Use Code Goons, by the way. Code Goons. Get yourself one of these bad boys. Yes, my friend, my friend. You Get yourself one yeah, of these bad boys. Pretend there's a Goons bars. logo on this and that it is a shaker. Yeah. Get one of these. I didn't get these beef sticks from Amazon, but but what are Goons logo? Why do you always have food on your desk? I don't know. Because sometimes I want a snacky poo when I'm watching a YouTube desk. YouTube major. That's fair. Okay. All right. Guys, well, uh, we wanted. Yeah, I was gonna say we got something else we want to talk about, or oh, I was just gonna talk about more goofy Elon Musk saga shit. How he was trying to like ban uh, anyone from linking Linktree. anything on his on his. Oh website. yeah, that's fucking dumb. I think the CEO and, of, thought, of Linktree was like fighting with him about it. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure he went back on it. I think he reversed yeah, it because people were so pissed about it. Yeah, that that he actually <laughs> listened to feedback. Yeah, it was. I mean. I get the premise of it. Like, after they explained what they wanted to do, it made sense. Like, they just wanted to stop the bot accounts that basically were, like, uh, just promoting nonstop other websites because they were just bots. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, in turn, you're literally killing your own website by, like, not allowing people to, you know, be social across multiple social platforms. Yeah. That's kind of what they're meant for. So that was fucking stupid. Then he made the poll of if he should step down. I was pretty shocked that it actually won yes yeah. So yeah. I don't know if you'll commit to that. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Honestly, it doesn't I, I, matter as long as he's like actually running shit. It, it just like it doesn't matter who's the CEO. Right. I, I hope he doesn't though, because I I just like this endless entertainment with him being at the. It head is of pretty Twitter. funny. Yeah. I will say, like, Twitter's already a shithole. At least yeah. it's now like an entertaining shithole where everyone's just yelling at the guy for yeah. everything he does, which a lot of it is is genuinely warranted. He's kind of a fucking moron, but. At the, at the same token, it's like there is nothing that man can do that he won't get flamed for. You know what's a weird kind of recent funny. change is that uh, businesses now have a yellow check mark and they can have square profile pictures. I saw that. Yeah, politicians yeah. have gray ones. I don't know what we'll weird. get as YouTubers. Probably just like a little brown smudge next. I think to we just have the I'll blue. I think we just have the blue where it says this may or may not be a notable account. Well, yeah, no, but like they're eventually going through and like redoing all the old verified accounts. <clears throat> oh, so like. 
They'll probably have one for journalists as a certain color. They'll have one for like entertainment, which is probably what we'll fall under. Don't know what that'll be, but they're they're probably gonna do like color coordinated, yeah. which honestly is not a bad idea. Yeah, like I'm down for that. And then just leave Twitter blue for the fucking weird nerds that pay eight dollars for a check mark to feel validated. Yes, sir. Yeah, I pay for or Twitter. Just blue. I've always paid marks. for it. Just because I really? like the ability to like you can edit and then like you can like if you send a text or if you send a tweet. It doesn't send for like sixty seconds. So if you have like a typo, you could be like, "Oh shit, undo it," and then like re. Oh, like I, fix I did not it. know that was a thing. Yeah, did I? and so then I there's the whole wouldn't. there's the whole thing Dude, where like eight dollars, but there's the whole thing where like if you don't pay for Twitter Blue, your shit kind of gets like pushed. Should push it down. I noticed well, that when no, I'm out. That's oh, yeah, some dog shit. Well, there, my Twitter but... Blue un unsubscribed, um, or like un yeah. Anyways, I, I I could tell my tweets were like getting like in an hour. I only have like two hundred. Which is usually not like I usually get more than that, um, and then I turn it back on, and all my shit's back to normal now. So, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely gets suppressed I, I if you don't have Twitter Blue. Eight dollars. I it, to me, it's like just, I don't know. It's just I I like to be able to inform people about shit on Twitter, especially like with my channel and stuff. So wait, so you lost your check? I haven't lost mine. No, I've I always kept my check mark, even when the Twitter Blue went away. It's because I didn't pay to get the check mark. I already had it. So if you don't pay for Twitter Blue, you still have it. Yeah, mine just says I might not be notable. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it my says. check mark is. Yeah, may or may not be and notable. It's right. It may or may not be. No- oh, I see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather them just take away my fucking check mark than clown me in with the eight dollars, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah I will take not it be away. Paying. I don't want it. Well, with no, the eight dollar people, if you hover over the check mark, it says. It oh yeah, says basically they- calls them an idiot, but yeah, you know, still. <clears throat> they have their idiot label, but still. Yeah, I don't know. He's, uh, <clears throat> it's it's a good time at least watching watching the chaos. I like uh, Wall Street bets right now is really, really entertaining with Elon <clears throat> doing shit. Hmm. Why? What like any, uh, just like everything he does, they will just like check like how it's affecting the stocks and shit like that. And like oh. Tesla is fucking plummeting, and, and like Twitter <laughs> is yeah. plummeting and shit like that. Instead of like actually saying like, you know, he's gonna fix it or whatever, all he did was say buy the dip. <laughs> it's, it's like it's just good memes over there you know what's the weirdest thing about this whole thing is finding out that elon is not like the leftist that he used to portray himself as like he's now like super like anti-woke and like oh yeah. it's just that's so funny to me like so many people i think like he'll tweet something and so many people will find a tweet that literally that's like a year ago that completely contradicts what he's saying now to be fair he was married or dating grimes whatever the fuck who's like <clears throat> literally like Super liberal. Super fucking far Marxist left, like yeah. hella nice. left. So he probably got a little bit of inspo for that. But like I think he's just appealing to like as many people like that yeah. that he can, which that is a larger mass right now, especially on Twitter. Um, that is a larger mass of people. So he's just like appealing to his audience that he knows best, which I really can't blame him for. I mean, we do the same thing in a sense. Like, you know, obviously McNasty, you have definitely more left if leftist views, but you make jokes that more cater right. to the right. So it's like yeah. I can't blame him for what he's doing. Like, it's a character in a sense from what I can see because he's still pretty fucking... When it comes to actually doing stuff, he's still pretty fucking liberal about it. But he just, you know, he just likes funny little memes and doesn't it's the want wave to, to be... say you can't make a, a black joke anymore. You know, he wants everyone to just make jokes and do whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. It's the wave to be anti-woke. Yeah. Yeah, I still think he's a weenie, but I don't. I don't think he's like. I, th- I think when people are like, "Yeah, Elon Musk is a hidden Nazi," it's like you're actually fucking stupid. No, yeah. like, he's that's so fucking far gone. Like your brain is rot by that point. Yeah, everybody's so like, extreme yeah. with their their opinions and statements. It's like, oh, he's gonna unban a few people. Well, he must be a Nazi. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Literally banned Kanye for Nazi <laughs> rhetoric. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. All that shit's just super fucking trivial and none of it matters in the real world. So, if you take any if you take any of it seriously, please go outside. You're all going to die someday. <laughs> yeah. So. None of this matters. You're not going to be on your deathbed and be like, "Remember Elon ban Kanye." No, yeah. you you're you're not thinking that. So, yeah. none of it matters. Laugh at it. Social it's media being is being critically big online. Goofball. Yeah. Yeah. Some it's, people are just way too much goofball. Way too much internet. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Well, I feel like that's a good a good what lesson the to, to end it on. Elephant fuck was that? <laughs> we don't have Just soup. My mask Who does mouth. the outro today? We all do it. Should we hold on? Should I FaceTime soup? Have him do the outro. Yeah. yeah have him do the outro from wherever Crick he's at. All right. 
Siri, FaceTime soup from the internet. As opposed to some soup from the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have Olive Garden on deck. <laughs> Lucky? <laughs> the owner of Campbell's on your phone? Campbell himself? Prepare hey. us on speed dial. Hello. Uh, do you want to do the outro for the podcast? Oh, yeah, I can. I'm driving right now, though. You're driving? Hold on. Can you, yeah. Can you guys hear him? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right, Soup, do the outro. You don't have to be hey. on camera. You can just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the podcast. I didn't catch shit. Oh, you didn't uh, catch anything? I knew it. I caught one little bitch. Okay, he caught one little bitch. Well, you heard him. There we go. <laughs> Great outro. Download on Spotify, like and subscribe. Thanks for listening. I will be there next week, I hope. <laughs> okay. Bye, buddy. Bye. <laughs> 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 All right, okay. you heard the man. All right, well, bye. Bye.